Hey, hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can fix low FPS in this awesome game, Forza Horizon 5. I know it's kind of very, very annoying problem. You just want to enjoy the game, but you don't have a constant and or low FPS. I'm gonna show you what I've done for for this uh, laptop to run the game properly. Now there's tons of different ways to fix this to to increase FPS, but I've just I'm just gonna share with you what I've done, what I've tried myself, and what I did to fix this, or to just increase overall uh, FPS. So first of all, and something that's probably very obvious for you, but you're probably uh, usually you, you just oh, it's an overlooked. Uh, kind of method which is just to close all the apps that are running in the background I know this might be obvious for you but it's very important just close all the apps that are running in the background you don't need when you play the game and then go to power options and here edit power option click edit power options and here click on edit power option and here you should see high performance something like that make sure you select high performance i'm on laptop you usually don't have that i mean you have that but it's you don't see high performance here but if you see here make sure you select high performance but you can also if you don't see high performance here you can go to change pan settings change advanced power settings and here in uh, processor power management and here in minimum you can write zero and in maximum processor make sure you write 100% 100% and uh, <clears throat> make sure you always go to settings and here go to storage and in storage make sure you delete temporary files <clears throat> excuse me and um, while it's uh, we're waiting here you can also go to GeForce experience and here make sure you delete you can also update from here your drivers as you can see there's now available driver you can click on download but uh, there's another thing that I like to do here if you click on the settings button here you should here you should you should see in-game overlay please turn this off this usually this will uh, will interact or will uh, cause problems if you have any in-game overlay so usually what I like to do is just turn it off doesn't really help so I don't really need it and here make sure you all also delete if you don't have important files in download make sure you click on remove and continue and uh, also you can press on your keyboard windows logo plus R and here write temp make sure you delete all the files here you don't need won't affect your computer there's some files that you don't can't delete that's just totally fine control plus r and now temp and plus uh, percentage temp percentage and okay and here delete all the files here as well continue probably even have more than three gigabytes so yeah uh, and yeah, if there's some files that you can't delete, that's totally fine. And now, also obviously you just run the game uh, at, a, at a very low resolution. That's pretty much obvious. It's, it's the, you know, like it's obvious, but you know. And also close ba uh, background ops are running in the background, you don't really need. Go also to Windows Update, and if there's some updates available, this for me, they have tons of updates here. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm I'm going too fast maybe. So if you go to Windows Update, and if you go to Advanced Options, and then Optional Updates, if there's a bunch of updates here, a, a huge list, this is usually gonna affect your the game. At least that's for me, and if I have everything, every update and driver up to date, not only the game will run properly and smoothly, uh, it, the game will won't crash as well, so make sure you download and install the latest updates. That's very important as well. And now, what you can do as well is... I don't know, for some people told me that if they go to display, not display here, they go to personalize, and they go to colors and they turn, turn off transparency effects, 
they'll give them more FPS and I do actually agree because transparent effects looks pretty nice but just consumes more memory and power and there's another thing that you have to do or some that can also increase and give you more FPS if you go if you go to performance and here and adjust the appearance and performance of Windows if you click on it and if you adjust the custom and here you know you only enable show timeless instead of icons because I think it's pretty good and even important and the smooth edges of screen phones because without it looks kind of awful and so yeah because best performance it will look great like sorry adjust for best appearance it will look yeah it will appear it will look catchy it will look good but if you adjust for best performance it'll give you best performance so yeah make sure you're doing that as well and that's i think that's pretty much it Think that's pretty much it. Like only you can almost all always do is to go to you can always like go to here and install uh, runtime direct X and and user runtime web installer. This is pretty good if you want the game to run smoothly without any problem. And make sure you also install Microsoft Visual C++. And if you wonder um, how can I find those links? You can find the links in the description of this video, it's very easy, just click on the download button here. And also make sure you install this for NVIDIA users. Click on download now and always install AMD driver, auto detect, click on download, pretty important and useful stuff. Okay, I'll leave the links in the description of this video, also for Intel users, I'll also leave in the description of this video, the links. And that's pretty much it, I really hope guys this video helped you, because I really understand your pain and your frustration when you're having this problem, like it's, it's kind of annoying, you just want to play the game, so I completely understand you, but I also... I also hope this video helped you, so make sure you leave your thoughts in the comment section and make sure you subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you for watching and, and take care.